And if we come back to common sense, and if we go back to the fact that cancer is caused by mental and emotional stress in nearly all the cases, um, we need to do what I teach at these Health Freedom Expos. We need to identify the root cause of our problem, what caused our original lack of energy. There is a study done in Fort Worth in Texas that proved that most cancer patients before the diagnosis of cancer had a very traumatic event uh, 18 mm -hmm. to 26 months before, like okay. getting divorced, losing a husband or wife after a long 20, 30, 40 year marriage, or you lose your job or your business or career after mm -hmm. 30 years and putting everything in. And they had actually a point where they said, I don't want to live like this anymore. And 18 to 26 months later, there was a diagnosis of cancer. So when we all start looking at the parts of our lives, what do we do, what do we think, and what parts of our lives do we feel we don't want to live like this any longer? We talked about it, Scott, that most deadly heart attacks happen Monday morning between mm -hmm. 8 and 9 o'clock. When people get ready to go to a work week, to a job that they cannot handle anymore. And they literally rather die than going one more time to that job. And this is what, what is so horrifying to me. Because you see that the loneliness is causing cancer. Because if this person would have had a good friend, and they would sit down, and, and he would said, have said, listen, I'm, I'm really worn out and I don't see hope anymore and this job is literally killing me and I don't want to go there anymore. And, and the good friend would just say, why don't you look for another, another job? Why, why don't you do anything else? You know, open mm. up a bar, something, do something else that might have sa saved that person's life. And I think the loneliness factor is one of the main causes in America for all these diseases and this high rate of suicide. 